uh, in this video we we'll learn about enteric nervous system enteric nervous system is grouped into orbax plexus and mesonervus plexus uh, orbax plexus is also called myenteric plexus mesonervus plexus is also called as submucosal plexus now in the diagram you can see the four layers of the gut wall uh, in the most we have mucosa followed by submucosa muscularis externa and serosal layer in mucosa you can divide them further into uh, the epithelial lining cells your enterocytes then you have uh, uh, the lamina propria and also we have some muscles here in the mucosa which we call it as muscularis interna followed by that we have submucosal layer then we have muscularis externa and serosal layer so these are the four layers of git as i've already mentioned now observe these nerves okay yellow color nerves this neuron plexus or a group or network of neurons are present in the submucosal layer of the git and this layer here is present within the muscle layer so you know muscularis externa is made up of post circular and longitudinal muscle layer so in between the longitudinal and circular muscle layer we have these uh, neurons now the uh, neurons which are present within the muscularis externa is called as orbax plexus or myenteric plexus the nerves which are present in the submucosa are called as submucosal plexus otherwise called mesonervus plexus now let's see the functions of these two uh, different uh, group of neurons orbax plexus or myenteric plexus since it is present within the muscle layer you can mainly uh, like uh, understand that it controls the functions of these muscles so it will regulate the gut motility and gut reflexes the one which is present within the submucosa or uh, the submucosal plexus or mesonervus plexus since it's very close to mucosa and epithelial cells it mainly controls the secretions of the git uh you all know the when we talk about uh, gas gastrointestinal tract we mainly uh, function wise if you want to see we need to learn about the gastric secretions and gastric motility right not just gastric secretion as a whole gi motility and gi secretions always remember gi secretions are regulated by submucosal plexus and uh, gastric or uh, gi motility as a whole is regulated by your Uh, orbax plexus or myenteric plexus so any problem in these neurons will lead to motility disorders any problem in the mesonervus plexus or submucosal plexus will lead to uh, altered secretions from the uh, git